Hello everyone, my name is the Armchair Athlete and today I am going to compare Project Cars 2 to Gran Turismo Sport Rally Racing. So let's get down to this game and uh, see how, you, how we like it. Anyways, so welcome to my channel. Before we get to the actual video, if you like sports video games and tech reviews, this is the channel for you. Subscribe below. Hey, so here we are. We are starting the race right now. And uh, yes, perfect. That lined up just that that worked out perfectly. So on the left, I am driving a Mustang. A rally Mustang. On the right, I am driving a Mitsubishi Lancer rally car so basically both of these are rally cars they're both made to do rally racing uh, comparing the two games together on the left we have Gran Turismo the nice thing about that is the fact that the whole all the tracks that I've raced on so far in Gran Turismo they've all been 100 percent dirt on the right there's Project Cars 2 and the rally racing is still pretty fun with it, but there's one thing that I'm not a huge fan of, and that's what you see right now on the right side. There's actual track. For rally racing, for me to only go around a couple of corners that are dirt, that's not very fun for me. I like to have the whole thing dirt. I like to be sliding around. And the other thing about Project Cars 2 is there's just so many turns so many sharp turns you can't get up your speed and drift around corners all that well so that's I, I personally like Gran Turismo better uh, for that now coming over to the handling and how the steering wheel behaves with each of these games I like how Gran Turismo feels very lifelike but I feel like Project Cars, the steering wheel performs. I have the Logitech G29. You can get it in the link in the description below. Basically, I use the G29 and it has a lot more harshness to it. It moves a lot more with Project Cars 2. Now, maybe I can go into the settings and change that, but so far from messing with the settings, I haven't really got it to the point where I really like it, but if I was to choose a direct winner, I would pick GT Sport just because it feels so lifelike. The other thing now is one thing that I actually side with Project Cars 2 on is the fact that you can have, have more than just two cars rally racing. So now on the right side I've passed all the cars but I think there was about five or six cars in this race with me. There we are, two, four, six. So there was six tars, cars total while with GT Sport you can only have two cars for at least what I've seen so far so I actually side with Project Cars first saying that the fact that you can have more than just two cars racing is so much better I've now gone over to full view of Gran Turismo Sport mainly because well the, the races between the two games vary widely so the tracks, the rally tracks in Project Cars 2 are very, very small. While in GT Sport, they are not huge, but they are a lot bigger. And I, between the two games, have a lot more fun in GT Sport rally racing. I was actually testing out when there was a few people around the VR headset with GT Sport and I was doing some rally racing. That was a lot of fun as well. Uh, people were surprised how well I was driving, which uh, I contribute that to just me already knowing how to play the game. So that was fun as well. VR is an interesting concept. If you haven't got VR yet, you should probably at least try it out. When you are having the VR headset on and you're going around corners like that one right there, even though your your chair is not moving, your mind tells your ass that you are moving and it's freaky shit, but it's cool. So this is my final lap. I am in first place. I am beating the Suzuki Pikes Peak car by a ton with a rally car that really has no reason being a rally car, which is a Mustang and it's gold. 
Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's video comparison. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. Hopefully I continue this race and win. I'm getting the best laps and quarters yet, which is good. That's always a good sign. I also like the fact that with GT Sport, uh, you actually have the map right in front of you between the speedometer and the tack as well as the actual map at the top right. Well, Project Cars 2, um, I don't like where they put their maps. And it's just a personal thing. Overall, I would say GT Sport takes it with, uh, with the rally racing. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification too if you like my stuff. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to try and do more daily stuff.